bathrobe man and skull boy knew they needed all the facts. So they met one night in Tulsa and they forged themselves a pact. They'd follow every lead, no matter where it goes, and they'd expose a villain and be celebrated as heroes. Well, their fellowship was powerful and the money freely flowed. They started making phone calls and then they hit the road. They signed no contracts, for there was no need. Old boy, he bought a car. They interviewed a lawyer who'd been disbarred. They interviewed some experts in search of the truth. Exotic dancers and journalists, they got testimony. Yeah, they got proof. Well, they had done their diligence, uncovered every sin. But they needed more money, and so they asked again. Bathrobe man the finger, skull boy was the thumb. A storm was a brewing just beyond the horizon. And everyone's a hero in the stories that they tell. But he was a friend of Skull Boy's and tensions escalated. Skull Boy said to Bathrobe Man, You're a beta mangina cuck, you're a crazy son of a bitch, and your music sucks. Bathrobe Man proclaimed from his bathtub of solitude. Skull Boy went too far this time, our partnership is through. Skull Boy was nearly broke, so he couldn't say see you later. He convinced Bathrobe Man to meet with a mediator. And everyone's a hero in the stories that they tell. The truce had seemed to work. Suddenly a thunderbolt and they both went berserk. Skull boy getting greedy, didn't want to get a job. His car needed to be repaired. He said, I don't want this ride to stop. Bathrobe man was furious and he called Skull boy a liar. Skull boy and the mediator set bathrobe man on fire. The last I saw any of them, they were strangling each other with USB cables and microphones and tumbling over a cliff. And everyone's a hero in the stories that they tell. And the monologues that get longer on the road to hell. And the monologues get